Hi everyone, my name is Dan and today I'm going to show you how you can use the Synadia NA10 nodes in your NA10 environment. In order to get started, make sure that you are logged in to your NA10 environment. Whether you started it through Docker or you're just hosting it yourself in another way, it doesn't really matter. Once you're logged in, you can go to the settings and you can go to community nodes over here. Now, in order to install a community node, you need to know its name. And I can give you that. The name of the NA10 Synadia nodes is called NA10-nodes-synadia. Not that hard. You need to check this box in order to uh, validate that you actually understand what it means that uh, this is unverified code by NA10, but we make sure that it meets up to what you can expect from a quality point of view from Synadia. And you can install it. Now once it is installed, one of the first things that you will need to do is set up a, um, a set of credentials for you to connect to your environment. Now in our case, we are going to use the demo environment, but the way of working and the way you set them up are is pretty much the same whether you're using um, the demo environment, whether you're using in your own environment, or you're using a Synadia Cloud or a Synadia Platform. Now let's add that credential. And the first thing that we have to do is search for it. Now the, what it's called, you can always enter nuts. Uh, we make sure that when you enter nuts, you will always drop into the nuts components. Um, the one that you need is called nuts API. Now let's continue. And you see over here that you will need to configure a server URL and you need to configure authentication. Now the server URL, this one is a little bit tricky because I'm running in Docker and uh, localhost would actually point to my Docker container, which would be wrong because I don't have NAS running there. Um, so I'm going to use demo.nuts.io. This is something that you can use as well. Like the demo environment is open to anyone. There's no authentication whatsoever. Um, and you can play around in it as you see fit. The other thing I'm going to change is the name of the credential and I'm just going to call it nuts, nuts demo, just to make it easier um, to distinct them from other, others that I'm creating. Now, once I have done this, I can start creating my first workflow. And in order to create a first workflow, you can do a start from scratch. Now, when you start from scratch, you will have to add your first step. If it NA10, there is a distinction between triggers on one end and actions on the other side. Now, we want to have a trigger, but most of all, we want to have something related to nuts. So I select nuts. Um, this is actually, when you just uh, select the nuts one, it's actually the publisher. So it's the action. But if you select a trigger, that's the one that we actually need. So. We already populated the credentials that I'm going to use because I only have one credential over here. So you can select the one that you need and then we can create a, uh, or we can select a subject that we will be using, uh, listener.star. So we will be listening to listener.star. We can execute a step, in which case it will generate some uh, template data for me to use to make it easy to, um, to use in subsequent steps. Um, and for the sake of it, let's add another nuts, but this time a publisher. Um, received, dot done. Now, what is important, and one thing that you need to know is that when you communicate with nuts, you're actually communicating in byte arrays and strings. So sending it just JSON data won't do. You will have to say JSON dot to uh, JSON string like this. Once we have done that, we can execute the step and we see that it's successful. Let's go back. You can see the full flow over here. We can save it. We can give it a different name, even add a tag to it, and then we can activate it. So from this point onwards, if you would be going to demo.nuts.io and you would be sending something to listener.whatever, it will actually be received by my flow over here. 
and it will be sent to receive.down. So I hope this gives you a few ideas of what you can do. Obviously there is much, much more and there are much, much more nodes that you can benefit from. If you have any more questions or if you're running into issues with it, do reach out. That's why we're here. Um, go to Slack, um, ping us in any way you see fit um, and we can, we can help you out. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to bring you more content anytime soon. Goodbye.